Today I'm going to give you a tour of my camper. I'll share with you what I love, a few things that I just don't like, and a couple of problems I've had. Hi, I'm Liz Amazing and welcome to my channel. These are exciting times to push past fear, gain confidence, and live amazing. And I am super excited today because I am going to give you a tour of my home, the Grand Design Reflection 260RD 5th Wheel. I'm going to share with you what I love, what I don't like so much, and the problems I've had with it. Well, the 260RD is ideal for a couple or solo traveler. It is just under 30 feet, which is really short for a fifth wheel. It is ideal for weekends, full timing, or even boondocking. And as you can see, it has an extra large awning. It has super large holding tanks, extra storage capacity, and so many features that I'm gonna list them in the comments below. This is my seventh camper and I have come from a camper van and I am absolutely thrilled. Okay, I know you're anxious to get inside, but let me show you a couple things outside pretty quick. In the front storage, it is nice and deep. You can see I can hold several tubs and cleaning supplies, toolbox, and I have to admit, I feel a little inadequate with what tools I have. I have the basics and I have a torque wrench. So let me know if there's anything that I absolutely should have with me. And then I have a problem. I bought the torque wrench but the extension, it has this plastic thing that came in it. And I think it's from, you know, the price tag or whatever, but <laughs> short of burning it, how do you get the plastic thing out of it so that you can use it? Just let me know. I'll be so grateful. Thanks. This is the pass-through storage. It is huge. I love how the door is held up just by a magnet. So awesome. It has motion sensor lights, which is so great. But I have not figured out how to organize this space. I just kind of have all this stuff piled here. So if you have any ideas, if I need bins or whatever, just let me know. I love the water system here. It's really just a flick of a switch to go from city water to dry camping. And if I'm hooked up to water right now at the campground, which I am, if I want to fill my freshwater holding tank, it's really just a flip of a switch. It's just super easy. These are my gray and black tank levers right here. And then I love this design. See how the hose comes up from underneath so I can close the door without having the hose hanging out. So here's an overview of the floor plan. You can see nice tall ceilings, beautiful vinyl plank flooring. And here's the reason why I bought this floor plan is I wanted that rear view. I knew I was gonna be doing a lot of time staying at campgrounds. And if you've ever stayed at campgrounds, you know that your back view is the most important because to your side is generally your neighbor. So you really wanna look out the back. And that's why I didn't even want a couch across the back because I wanted to be able to just relax on the dinette, enjoy meals or just put my feet up and enjoy looking out at the view. And I have a pretty good view. You can see even through the glare of the sun that I have a river back there. And there are windows on this side too, on both sides. So it's just really lovely. Now this dinette goes down into a bed. This isn't for families, but if you have a, an occasional guest or a grandchild visiting, this will go into a twin size bed. And there's storage all the way around this U-shaped dinette. So you can really take a lot of stuff. Plus there are cabinets above. Look at that kitchen, my goodness. All the storage, all the cabinet space, all the drawers and the counter space. I love what they did with the faux finish on the counters. It's really pretty. The drawers are nice and deep. There's plenty of room to keep stuff in here. And there's six of these drawers. There is a residential style stove. It, it is a gas stove, but it has the grates that you find in residential. It doesn't have the ugly RV look. And there's an oven microwave and an oversized sink even a spice rack it has a good sized fridge and next to it is deep pantry space 
The couch is a full-size couch. It has two recliners and it has bells and whistles. It has heat, which is so nice, and it has massage. They also, you can see, they each have a cup holder. The middle part of the couch flips down so that you have extra cup holders and a work area. I'm afraid I can't tell you much about the TV because I don't watch TV, but I am told it has lots and lots of features on it, and I do know you can watch YouTube on it. There's also a DVD and CD player, and it has indoor and outdoor speakers, AM, FM, radio. And here is the control panel where you operate the slides and the awnings and check your tank levels. This unit has one slide and what you're looking at here with the wood frame is the slide. So the couch and the fridge all come in and with the slide closed when you're driving down the road, the counter extension flips down and it comes to right about where the trash can is. So what that does is it does close off the stairway. And I thought, well, is this gonna be a problem if I'm driving you know, across country and I wanna stop and use the bathroom? So I timed it. Do you know it's only 20 or 30 seconds to open and close the slide, so it really is not a big deal. Well, I love my bathroom, I'm in heaven. Remember, I came from a camper van. I didn't even have a bathroom counter and I had a medicine cabinet half the size of what I have now. Now I have this huge medicine cabinet, a counter, drawers, a cupboard under the sink, plus a big linen closet, and I have a full-size shower, and it has a skylight and a squeegee door. So what that is is that it squeegees the water off when you open it. And this is my linen closet. A lot of people don't realize that when you go full time, you have to bring your whole medical supplies with you, your sick bay, everything that you need, you know, in case you get sick or you get insect bites, uh, you know, extra supplies. So you really need a lot of bathroom storage. Well, the bedroom is amazing. It has a residential queen size bed, not the RV queen, but a regular residential full size queen. There's a nightstand on both sides and there's overhead storage and the entire under the bed is storage. There's also a shelf in the back for knickknacks. There's some USB ports, plenty of outlets. Plus there is a good size wardrobe and deep drawers. Well, I'm sure you can tell I just love, love, love my Grand Design 260RD Reflection fifth wheel. But there are just a few minor things that I am not thrilled about, and here they are. Well, I'm not super loving this glass stove top. I don't really use the counter space that much, although I do occasionally. I'm thinking about taking it off. The reason why I don't like it is because it's glass, so it's so hard to keep clean. I find it just too high maintenance for me. Um, you know, if I did permanently take it off, I am not sure if this is going to look okay back here with it off. And probably when I'm traveling, I'm going to have to take the grates and put them somewhere because they might bounce out. Another option, tell me what you think about this idea, is what if I put contact paper on here and got some nice contact paper and attached it on here. So that's a thought. Let me know what you think. So another thing that I'm not too fond of is the height of the table. It just feels too high. So I'm pondering, what if I took these table legs and cut them shorter? I guess I could just get a hacksaw. What do you think? Is this something that I could do or should I be, should I just hire it out? So the other thing I don't like is how this faucet in the bathroom is too short. So I end up washing my hands, pressing my hands at the back of the sink and then getting water all over the counter. So do you think this is something I can do myself? Can I switch out a faucet or is that something where I need to get somebody in to do? Okay, so I did have a couple problems since I bought the fifth wheel. So one of the problems I had was with the stove top, the actual uh, top here. Can you see these grooves right here? I actually took a series of photos because this uh, showed up just a few weeks after buying it and just got worse and worse. And I sent photos to Grand Design and you know what they did? They just sent me a new one. I didn't even have to go to a dealer. So I have a new top and all I have to do is find a handyman to replace it. And that's it, super easy. 
Well, most people know that mattresses and RVs are generally not the best quality. However, mine, although it was comfortable, it cratered in like about a month. So Grand Design gave me a generous credit to a new mattress and now I'm super thrilled. And here's the thing. Again, I didn't have to go to a dealer. I just sent them a photo and they took care of it. And I want to remind you to join the A-Team, the community where we help, support, and inspire each other. Just push on the subscribe button. And if you liked this video, you'll love the next one. I'll see you in the next video.